Hi guys, welcome back to Barbie Talk. Today I'm going to compare a budget Barbie. Okay, for example, 1997 Splash and Color Barbie. She was known as a budget Barbie back in 1997. She was about maybe five to ten dollars. Focus on the details. My opinion, she has better quality. She has full paint, full hair. She has more movement, like she arms are straight budget arms, so they just go up and down and side to side. She had the twist and turn waist, which means that she can do different poses, like a swimsuit does. And what I miss about the Barbie dolls is that they had the bendy knees. You can hear that. Now, example, the modern Barbies. $5 for a painted on bathing suit, and look, she's five years old and already she has scrapes and bruises all over her butt. Um, the hair quality is not the best, in my opinion. I mean, it's cute, it's flippy, it's swingy, but it's just nothing like this, you know, where Barbie had long blonde hair, and yes, I did test this in the water, it still changes. Um, see, look, her hair is very full and very, um, like, stylish. Her face, it's cute, it's not, it's kind of cartoony, where Barbie has more of a realistic face and a realistic body. Not a realistic body, but more of a face, you know, a realistic face. This one just has typical articulation. She can only move at the head. Arms up and down, and and hard, non-bending legs. Well, what is your opinion on the budget Barbies? Do you like 1997 Splash of Color Barbie or 2015 Waterplay Nikki? Leave a comment on the bottom, and thanks for watching Barbie Talk. Bye-bye.